Okay. Uh, next talk is by uh, Daniel Is Ichjedov. Okay. And it's about uh, tracking uh, people that make open source projects. Working now? Yeah, okay. Okay, thank you. So, uh, welcome everyone. Uh, the focus of this presentation is to give as much data as possible and to make things uh, really simple for all of you. So, uh, I would like to introduce to you, to all of you, the Grimoire Lib uh, library. It's a Python-based library. Uh, basically, all of the open source projects that we are uh, participating and having fun around are producing massive uh, gigabytes of data and all of it can be traced in somehow. So um, the idea is if all of us or community managers, developers or any other role in the community can take advantage of all of this. So in the end the idea is if uh, we cannot make, uh, let's say decisions if we don't have data, okay? So, uh, the goal of this library is, uh, first of all, to be a transparency database layer. So let me say that I'm assuming the existence of some, some specific databases. Uh, I will work on this later. Uh, again, we have a library, so we don't need to reuse code. We, we don't need to create and create and create again the queries. Um, the idea is to have a simple, um, let's say, API to access all of the potential metrics and to build all of this, okay? Um, as I mentioned, this uh, this presentation is based on a last year presentation by, by Jesus, uh, Jesus Gonzalez Barahona. Uh, he was introducing the whole tool chain to download the, the data, to retrieve all of the data from Git, from Subversion, from Jira, from Baxilla, from any data source you can imagine. Uh, then this library is the second leg, which would be uh, the data analytics, let's say. And the final part, which would be basically more JS based on JavaScript that visualizes all of this information. Uh, we are started in R. Uh, we migrated to Python for some reason. We are a team of four, five developers, most of them coming from Viterbia. By the way, we are a small startup that started a couple of years ago, and we are focused on open source analytics. And, well, the license that we choose in this case was uh, GPL version three. Some of the metrics, I'm, I'm gonna list a bunch of metrics around. We are supporting now source code metrics like, uh, I mean, data sources like Git, Subversion, uh, Mercurial, Bazaar. And there are some metrics that we all know, uh, something like commits or number of authors or files or edit or remove lines. In this library, you can find some a bit more complex studies like demographics. So who are the guys that were attracted by the community two years ago, three years ago, four years ago, and how many of them are still contributing? So there is a study named demographics or aging that provide this data so you can play with it. Uh, we have also a time zone analysis uh, based on the time zone left by developers in Git. For instance, we cannot have this information in subversion. So uh, this library takes care of all of this. Um, well, we also support some others like Garrett or GitHub, so number of merge, uh, abandoned uh, uh, chain sets or submitted patch sets, people, all of this. Um, and then again, some more advanced metrics like, okay, uh, I would like to merge, to, to count the time to merge uh, chain sets in the community, uh, how fast are my, my reviewers or how much time do I have to wait till a new patch set comes to the to the chain set, right? To the garret. <coughs> Some others, mailing list. Uh, again, this is a list of metrics. They are not, not all of them are there, but anyway, just to uh, give you a, a glimpse about all of this. So emails, people, companies, we can play with hot topics, something like, okay, what are the longest threads for the last uh, 30 days or the most crowded with the most people participating there? So we also provide, uh, the library provide this information. You can go there. Um, we are also supporting the question and answers forums, things like um, Discourse or Stack Overflow or Ashbot. Mm -hmm. And then issue tracking systems like Jira or Baxilla or the Lura back tracking system or GitHub or some others. Uh, 
some specific things here, maybe the time to attend, and things like this. And finally, other data sources, wikis, downloads, uh, releases, Apache logs, and all of this. So uh, there's a bunch of metrics here. It's full, full, full of metrics. So each of, of these metrics can be filtered by several stuff that we can see here. So we can say, OK, let's analyze commits, but we can filter the commits by this repository or by this company or by this domain, like, uh, I don't know, uh, bitterja.com uh, or some project, which could be a kind of an aggregation of, uh, of repositories here. Then there are some specific filters uh, depending on, on the uh, data source. So for the source code management system, so Git and all of this, we can also filter by branch. So are you interested in all of the commits for, only in the commits for master or the whole set of branches that are being developed? Uh, are you interested in uh, specific modules, so specific directories? No, we can also filter by file types or even by log message left by, by developers. Um, and well, so some examples that the things you can do is, okay, I'm interested in the number of commits, but then I'm interested in the number of commits by this company. And maybe I'm interested in the number of commits by this company, by this repository, and this file, this specific file type, okay? So source code or documentation or things like this. So there are some others. So you can also uh, check the time to close or maybe by company and by a specific tracker and all of this. Mm -hmm. uh, the API, is supposed to be simple, so there are four uh, four methods. Uh, the first one is okay. We get aggregated numbers, so we get number of commits in 2014 is uh, 50. Okay, that's okay. But then you can have evolutionary numbers, so you can you, you can get a time series in this case. So you get okay in the month of January, you had 10. February, you had five, etc. You can add several filters, like okay per month, per week, per day, per year. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, that's all. Let's go for the code. So for this, I wanted to show you kind of a demo. Uh, I prepared in a Python notebook. This is a really awesome tool, by the way. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay. Uh, the first line. Okay, it's okay. Uh, the first line is just to have some plotting uh, charts there. The idea, okay, uh, first, we have this. Okay, it's okay. This is the each metric. When you want to instantiate each metric, you need uh, first the database connection, and second, you add the filters. Okay, so in this case, we import uh, the database connection. In this case, we filter, we import the filters. So all of the filters we mentioned before. In this case, we are importing the Git activity, the Git, uh, all of the Git metrics. Okay, so we go ahead. Uh, in this case, we are. Uh, getting access to a database. For this example, I'm using the OpenStack uh, database, which is ac uh, accessible at the activity.openstack.org. This is uh, one of the uh, customers we have at Viterja, and we are building a dashboard. I can show you later um, uh, an example. So for this, we are instantiating uh, our database connection, and then we define the filters. In this case, uh, okay, let's go for, for instance, for the month period. In 2000, between 2014 and 2015. This case is the whole year of 2014. Okay, so how we define a filter? Okay, you add all of the attributes there. Okay, so we have a period, a start date, and end date. You want another filter? You want a filter by the company? So let's go. Let's add. Let's instantiate a new uh, filter with the filter company and the company in this case, Red Hat, for instance. Uh, and are you interested in measuring all of these metrics by company and maybe by a specific tracker or repository? Let's go. So you can add some filters and go and say, okay, Red Hat and maybe later Nova, which is one of the uh, main repositories there. Okay, so are you interested in commits? Let's go for commits. Instantiate this and you get the number. Uh, this is a bit ugly so far, so uh, we are still uh, Printing dictionaries and all of this, we have to deal with this. Uh, the library is between uh, alpha and stable, so you choose the state, okay? Uh, and well, this is an example of aggregated numbers. This is an example of time series. So we have number of commits per month, in this case for the whole OpenStack community in 2014, blah, 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 and then we can plot. Okay, let's go for it. So this is the, this is the commit activity for the OpenStack community, okay? 
then are you interested in something else like the company? Okay, if you remember, we added Red Hat. So what's the uh, activity of Red Hat in OpenStack in 2014? So we do this, blah, 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 and we get 6,700 commits. That's the activity of Red Hat. Okay, are you interested in plotting that? Sure, let's go for this. So we have the activity of Red Hat. Thank you. Um, then, okay, we can go ahead and say, okay, the activity of Red Hat in nova.git. So the same, we defined a new filter there. Let's go for this. In this case, um, this is uh, around 600 commits, and we can plot that again. That's easy. Okay, some other, some other things like, okay, top authors. So let's go for this. We again instantiate our uh, class authors. Let's go for it. We have the connection to the database and the filters. We have around 2,000 guys participating in uh, OpenStack during 2014. Awesome. We can plot them. We can get the top 10. Oh, we have some bots here. Okay, let's remove some bots because there are Jenkins and some others. Hmm. Ugly stuff. So we can come here. We remove some bots and we get the list of the top 10 developers in uh, OpenStack Foundation. Yep. Some other examples. Uh, we have information like the some, some of the studies like the uh, OpenStack community. Uh, the structure, so we define developers as core, those uh, developing the 80% of the source code. Uh, regular, those developing between the 80 and the 95%, per and then the rest of them, which are casual. Okay, so community structure of the Benestack Foundation, something like this. It's running, okay. There are around 228 developers that freely participated in the development. I mean, freely participated. They are characterized as core developers, okay? And there are some examples like working with ITS and all of them. In this case, the OpenStack Foundation is using Launchpad, which is good. And well, some code for this and well, we are also measuring efficiency, blah, blah, blah. So, coming back to the presentation, uh, uh, there are some examples here. Um, uh, I would love to hear from you. So this is, everything is open source, so it's Python based. If you like Python, please go there. If you don't like Python, please go there. Um, yeah, uh, there's a IRC channel and a mailing list uh, and everything. So please, everything you need, let me ask. Okay. Thank you. Thank Daniel, you very much. thank you. We have a few minutes time for a few questions. If anybody has a question, please raise your hand and I'll pass the mic. How does the, how, how does the database get populated? Uh, yeah, uh, that's the, as I mentioned, there are three main legs in the whole tool chain. Uh, the first one is metrics grimoires, which is uh, a set of, uh, uh, maybe I can show you, a set of tools, also Python based, that provide uh, such information. So, in the case of uh, um, in the case of uh, Git, we are using CVS Anali. In the case of uh, um, uh, Launchpad, we are using Bitcho and all of this. So, you need to run the tools. Uh, there are some uh, specific actions on unique identities, affiliations. I mean, there are some manual work. So, this is why we are here. Uh, then. The idea of this library is to, okay, we have a database. I don't care the database. Let's use the, the library. So, yeah. okay. uh, by, by the way, uh, you can download the, for all of the dashboards we are using, you can download all of the databases. So you can directly download and you have the schema and everything. So that's okay. In the case of OpenStack, it's, it's there, it's published. Yeah. Okay, um, we've run out of time. If oh. anybody else has questions, they should meet up with Daniel. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, there are a lot of people coming in for the